One of the unfortunate realities in these type of games is that thematic type builds rarely make it into competitive play. And in Flesh and Blood, where even a standard armor event can often feel like a top tier cutthroat event, the result is that thematic decks rarely see play at all. Now that we're in the holiday lull, I thought it would be fun to give the Phoenix Form Phi deck a go. So today we're going to build that deck together, then I'll spend my holiday break trying to see if I can actually pull off the dream play. Phoenix Form into Phoenix Form for a go wide win. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando! Hey there, Flesh and Blood folks. Welcome back to Dice Commando and go again. A fabulous cast. And you know what, folks? Happy holidays. Thanks for checking in. I hope everything's going well with you and yours this holiday season that you're in enjoying the you know little tiny break we get of flesh and blood or at least of flesh and blood competitive and maybe you're having fun and that's kind of the point of today's video is you know we've got an opportunity to get some jank on the table maybe and not be too worried about getting your face kicked in for four rounds at an armory so i figured let's do this now yeah talking phoenix form today right the phoenix form phi deck and the objective is really to try and pull off kind of the wombo combo and See if we can do it, right? So obviously, obviously, we're talking CC tonight, right? Because Phoenix Forum just, it really just doesn't work in the other. I mean, it works, but not for what we're trying to use it for, right? So you guys get it, yes. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up right now. We're going to be over at FabDB. So I went ahead and I kind of got the uh, stuff filled out. So it's Phoenix Forum Fi, and obviously I'll... Put the link below if you want to try it out on your Talishar or whatever the kids are using these days and uh, give it a go and then tell me that it's a bad deck because I think we all know that it's not going to be a competitive deck, but it's going to be a fun deck and we're going to see if we can pull off the combo. All right, so let's go ahead. We got all that in. Actually, let's make sure I saved it just in case. There we go. Go over to edit. So where I want to, I mean, obviously we'll go start with the the big one so phoenix we'll just type in phoenix because we'll also need to spell it right now don't we so there's a couple things we need here we'll just start with the three phoenix flames we need and yes phoenix form right if you control one or more phoenix flames phoenix form has go again if you control two or more it has plus two if you control three or more it has when it hits a hero draw three cards three boom yeah so obviously the point the deck is to add three of those Right, so this strategy is going to obviously be different than kind of the standard Phi decks. I mean, not hugely, but there are a couple pieces here that don't usually make their way into all standard Phi decks that we need to include because we have to be able to set ourselves up not only to be able to get three Phoenix Flames on the field, but in order to not have to cycle our deck to do that, we're going to have to tutor them and then be able to recycle them and get them on the table. So there, there are three cards specifically, the first being Flame Call Awakening. So this one, of course, is the one that if there's another red card out there, you can go effectively tutor a Phoenix Flame. So we're definitely playing three of those. The next one is a card that seems on paper like it should be good, but just in practicality, it's just too little, and that's in Flame. But in Flame is really, I think, is going to really help us do what we want so when we attack with if you've played a red card you get one from your graveyard to your hand and, and by that i mean a flame right so we definitely need three in flames no question there and then another card which is kind of the not only kind of it is like the title card for the set well not title card but it's the backdrop is rise from the ashes this one's it does see some play in some decks but again, this one will just let us, it's just one more card out there to help us get the Phoenix Flame. It also is a red card that can help unlock in Flame. Well, I mean, in Flame, we want to use really on our combo turn. Flame Call Awakening, we want to use before. It's all there for our Blaze Headlongs and, and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's, that's really the five core that we need to use. And next, I want to go ahead and we can clear this here. And let's go ahead into, oh, just because it's here, I do want to run this one. So Ancestral Empowerment, the reason, what we're going to want to do again here is cycle, this will help us cycle cards. So what we're going to do, the strategy here is we're going to build the 60 card frame. We're not necessarily going to worry, we, we can, we'll build the sideboard, but the sideboard will be after, right? So I want to get us to 60 cards, it looks like a solid deck. 
So ancestral empowerment, we're going to do three of these because it just helps us draw more than anything. And I think that's very important. Now we do remember we have to be careful on what we use it on here, right? Because like some of these aren't ninja cards, but we're going to have plenty of ninja cards. So three ancestrals. Again, even if this isn't doing our mass trigger, it still helps us actually just actively cycle our deck. All right, so now let's go down into oh, Blaze. Well, as just as we go down, we're going to play Blaze Headlong because that card's phenomenal. And then here we go. So here's the meat. So brand, red and blue. We're going to play we're going to play all the zero threes, well, all the zeros we're going to play red and blue of. And that's brand, that is Ronin, and then that is Rising. Okay, so Ronin, come on, you can do it. We go. So there's Ronin, Renegade, Red, Blue, and if and if we, I'm gonna pack full, and if we need to drop down, we can, right? So sometimes I don't run Blue Ronin, but I, I think we're gonna need it for this. So there's Rising. Okay. Now another card that's pretty much a staple in these Phi decks is Art of War. That said, I think we actually want to take a different path. So I think we actually want to try the tone. Now, the logic behind this is really that we don't, because we're trying to go super wide, having to sack, Art of War will help us draw, right? But we have to sack a card to do it. Banish that attack action. And I think that'll hurt us overall. And I think that if we're, I think that on the turn we pull this off, we're actually maybe not even using our Ember Blade on that turn. So I think we'll have potentially money left over. So I think what I want to do is try Toma Firebrand. And another card actually that had come up kind of as I was doing searching and theory crafting here was maybe Gorganian Tome just for the cycle draw. I, I don't know if this will make the final cut, but since we're here, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And we can, because we can always close it later and then we don't have to go back. All right, so now let's go kind of make sure we have our fire starters. So spreading flames, of course, is crazy good, especially when you have stuff like inflame and the thing, right? You guys get it. And then the next is mounting anger, right? Those are both staples for the quote unquote fire starters is what I call them to get that chain going, right? It's a one with goes that's a red and, and you guys get it. Okay. So that takes us to 49 already, right? And you guys have noticed I haven't added the equipment and stuff because I want to be able to keep our equipment up and I want to be able to keep the count easy at 49. So one of the issues we have right now is we're, we're low on blues. So, I mean, let's be honest. It's a facilitator. We're going to go belittle and we're going to do minimalism because why would we not? So it doesn't help us here, but it's still, I, I don't see how the deck operates without them. And I like to run two blue minnows. That's pretty pretty like it's not really cracking any eggs there it's kind of what a lot of people do so there's the two minimalisms it puts us at 54 with 11 uh the other card we're missing here that's kind of standard is lava burst right for our chain ender on rupture uh what we are not going to do here though because i mean obviously we're, we're packing in a bunch of cards right those first five we added a lot of them use up slots that are normally taken by others and because we're not trying to combo here I know, I know, but I'm not going to put in Salt of Wound. I just don't think we have room for it. We can go back later and add it if we want for a sideboard card or something like that. I think that's perfectly viable. But as far as our core 60, I think that's not what we're trying to do here. So that takes us to 57. So that's enough slots, but we don't have enough blues. So normally, I like to run Soul Bead Strike. Well, we're not going to add it, but I am pulling. Oh, we'll pull that up. I like to run Blue Soul Bead because it defends for three and it attacks for two, right? I mean, no one's going to let you get to go again on it. But I do I do like it in this deck. That said, I think the right play here is, um, excuse me, Lava Vein. And usually I like to play red and blue here. But again, you can see where we're at. And there is one problem with this one in that it it does require another Draconic out in order for it to get for its go again, right? It has to be linked to. So I think playing the blue is what gets us there because, again, it defends three for us. It's only one. Uh, the other argument there is maybe Cinder Claw, which is a one because, remember, we're not trying to – sorry, not Cinder uh, – what's the other one? Cinder something. It's a one – there we go. Devotion, that's the one I was looking for. So one – 
three, but I think that's bad value. So I, th I think, I think that this is, so that puts us at 14. The total cost curve is a quarter. And again, if we're not counting on searing ember blade as much for our combo turn, I wonder if that's enough. It doesn't feel like enough, does it? I feel like we should be at like 16 at a minimum. But with Belittle, maybe we get more. So I don't know that I'm entire. I don't know that I'm entirely happy with that. But I don't know what we're supposed to cut here. Is the other problem. So Let's go ahead. I know. I know it's small on the screen. So let's go ahead and go over to the view deck, and that'll make it a little larger, so we can look at this and kind of talk through it. I mean, the other one card we could drop is either mounting anger. I don't think we want to drop spreading flames. Mounting Anger is also really, really good in and of its own. But that might be the one that doesn't, because like, let's look at our fire starter. So that's pseudo, that's non-draconic, but it is a fire starter, kind of. We have Flame Call is kind of a fire starter, but not really because we want it triggered to tutor, but it can serve the purpose. So one, two, three, four, and then we have Brand. Okay. That's, I mean, that's not too bad. And then Rise from the Ashes, I guess, as well. Although, it, I mean, it's not a draconic in terms of chain links, right? And that's the argument I made for Lava Vein Loyalty. But it is a red card, so it can actually trigger Blaze. So, that's, I mean, that's not too bad, actually. I think probably 16. So, maybe, that would be maybe the drop. So, I'd have to think about that one. Because, again, we do want to be able to pull off, like, the Tome. You're right, fire starter and a tome, and then maybe something else. Interesting. We're already full. That sucks. It's it's a it's a and then again because we want to be at sixty because we want to be able to draw it. That's the point of doing a lot of these draw cards is to be able to get what we need. So all right, let's sit let's sit there. I mean that's a quarter of the deck. Not everything needs to be. Yeah. Well, let's 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 move into the let's go back to the I mean, we can't just have dead air forever, can we? Well, we sit and think. All right, let's go into the weapons. So we're running searing. There's no point in Kadachis in this, I don't believe. Let's go to the equipment. Uh, we'll do the mask of momentum. We'll do the flame scale furnace. Uh, blazing, yeah, I mean, maybe, probably not. I think we just run flame scale. We do the Shoko. We do the flippers. We'll do snappies, obviously. Snap dragons. There we go. So there's head. Yeah, and then we just need a couple nulls. Oh, we need our. Oh, no, we're in flame scale, not tunic. Actually, maybe tunic. Hmm. It's actually not a bad idea. And then I also want to. I do want to point out for those of you who maybe. Because this deck's actually. Just stick with me. This deck's actually pretty cheap as long as you're not loading up on a lot of this stuff. So you could run the budget mask you could run sash of sandikai right which actually i've run for because i don't actually own a flame scale so i've run sash of sandikai sandikai and uh chukos are really cheap so yeah but you you know because you actually do want to run chukos you do want to run chukos okay and then we have let's do robe and that gives us ab2 it gives us ab2 okay All right, so going into the sideboard options then, let's clear this. Going into the sideboard options, we wanna do sink below. Come on, you can do it. There we go, it takes us back, yeah, it takes us back to that every time when you search on it, so I need to go in here and clear it. Nope, didn't clear. All right, and then we'll do that, all you got. Come on. There we go. And then we want to do command and conquer. Every time. All right. I got to clear this. This is not working. There 
go C and C and then what's that put us at overall that 76 so now we have room so let, let's let's do that let's go put in three more blues to help us out there soul beads right so one thing probably you're screaming at the screen here let's go back to the deck one thing you're screaming at the screen is like there's no snatch in here which is fair feedback but I think effectively for what we're trying to do in this kind of janky combo deck is Phoenix Forms really kind of serving the purpose of that snatch slot, right? If you really think about it. So I think that's probably right. I think it's probably right. So yeah, that's I think that's it. So what are we at? So we're at 79, so we're at we're at one we're one card short. So we could maybe go we could go throw in a popper or something like that. We could throw in Thaw or Fighting Spirit or we could go get another blue if we wanted, because that puts us overall. It's, that's 17 blues I'm more comfortable with. Um, but I don't think we want to run a 63 card deck. It feels kind of bad. Feels kind of bad, but yeah. So anyway, that's. I think that's solid enough. I think that's solid enough. And then again, remember we can go in and replace. There's budget options for almost all of this stuff if that's what you choose. So am I missing a card? I feel like I'm missing something here. Head, chest, boots, arms. Oh, Nolan gloves. That's what I'm missing. There we go. And then, you know, another another one we're missing is double strike. We just don't have room for it. But functionally, if you really go back and think about kind of the cards we added in to, to facilitate, like Inflame kind of takes that type of slot, right, for double strike. I mean, functionally, they're basically, I mean, they're not basically the same thing. You guys get it. But in terms of like what you're trying to do for the slot, I think it's fair to say that those two really traded slots, right? Because again, we only have 80 cards. So, so there we go. So that is, that's, I'll call it there. And yeah, we'll see. So as I've been going through this, hopefully you guys have been commenting as we go. If you, if you made it this far, I'll do the DMR Mata thing. Give me a potato in the comment. no. Give me a draconic in the comments if you uh, made it this far. And I will put a bow on this. We'll put the link down below. And then I will test out and rep it and see what I can do. And if I make any changes, I'll report back. And, and all that good stuff, I'll just put a post on the channel. So either way, thanks for joining. Like I said, working, working session. Obviously, I had a beer. So happy holidays. Enjoy everything, folks. Hopefully, you can get some casual reps in with your friends over beer and all that. So either way, thanks folks for checking in. Happy holidays. Go Commando.